I mean, I I still have my CDL license, but I like there's no plans to go drive a load anywhere. Yeah, that's right. I was in love once, man. Many times. Back long, 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 long ago. When I write and record the record, I have to be entertained. So when I play it live, I have to be entertained too. So I, I mean, I like to have fun on stage. I mean, that's, that's the most important thing to me. You could get up there and karaoke a set, and that's, you know, it's done and it's cool and stuff, but I mean, in and of itself, the, you know, the laptop is an instrument. If, you know, it's almost endless what you can do with it if you have the right components. I would love to see Nicholas Jar play. I love that. I love what he does in terms of bringing analog with, you know, with, you know, laptop stuff, especially that Dark Side project. I would love to see that live. It's a long way down. I started touring before I ever started trucking, so I think I like trucking because of, like, oh, this is like tour, even though it's not, because there's nothing climactic at the end of the day except going to pilot and eating, uh, you know, a fucking meatball sub. But it's definitely something that, it takes a certain kind of person to do it. It takes a certain kind of person to tour a lot, so they, they kind of go hand in hand. You know, if you can appreciate being behind the wheel and seeing, you know, your country or whatever <laughs> roll by you, it's it's good in that way. If I YouTube, like Waylon Jennings, for instance, I always admire the fact that those dudes didn't hide behind anything. They're kind of up front, and especially those old videos where they have a very thin microphone and they're standing like by themselves. Um, you know, with a big backdrop. I always thought that was kind of sweet. Until I get a big backdrop, I mean, I think being, you know, unobstructed is kind of, you know, kind of cool. I'd like to keep it like that, you know. Just like the 